Jai Hind, a glorious good off to all. I am Lady Karit Sai Priya from Armed Forces Preparate Degree College for Women. As today my topic is migration of birds and scientific reasons. I think you are well known with the word migration. As we all know that the human beings will migrate from one place to another place. Not only human beings, the birds will also migrate from one place to another place. Sometimes we feel wonder when we see a group of birds flock together in the sky. An interesting thing to notice is that there are some scientific reasons behind their migration. So today my topic is migration of birds and scientific reasons. In this topic we will come across what is meant by migration, some interesting facts about it, why the birds migrate, how they will migrate, which factors will affect the bird migration, some threats during the migration, the birds which migrates to our country, some preventive measures, at last we will summarize the whole thing. First let us know what is meant by migration. The word migration came from a Latin word migrera which means changing. According to the scientist Kahn, he said that a periodic passage of animal from one place to another place is known as migration. William Ron said that the movement of birds is due to Lamarckism which means the inheritance of acquired characters. So based upon this migration, the birds are classified into two types, resident birds and migratory birds. The birds like sparrow, bobbite, sand grouse are the birds which does not undergo migration throughout the year. Whereas the birds like ban owl, geese, bluebirds, blue jays are the birds which undergo migration throughout the year. Let us see some interesting facts about migration. Every year on the second Saturday of May or October, we will celebrate World Migratory Bird Day. There is a bird called Arctic Tern which will migrate from Arctic to Antarctica and back whereas it covers 20,000 miles in a year. And Sandy Land Whooping, these are the cranes which will migrate for 2,500 miles. Do you know how long the birds will keep going on? The birds have a special feature in its body that it can store an enormous amount of fat beneath the skin and utilize it during the migration. Like that there is a bird called soaring raptor which will do the same thing whereas it does not consume any kind of food during the migration. But also there are some birds like crane which are stopovers. In middle of the migration they will stop and they will have some food where it consists of abundant food material or resources. Do you know how high the birds can fly? The birds can fly higher than Mount Everest it is, which scales about 8869 feet. There is a bird called bar headed geese which will migrate higher than and which will fly at higher altitude of 29,000 feet. Even the scientist does not know how the birds can reach for a higher altitude. So they took the help of radars and they came to know that the, uh, the birds have a capability to change its altitude according to the wind currents. Let us see how the birds can do all such kind of wonders. These all due to the flight adaptations. The bird consists of adaptations in its body whereas they are divided into morphological ad adaptations, anatomical adaptations and physiological adaptations. Morphological adaptations are mostly consist of the external features of the body. Body counter. We can see the bird bodies in the form of spindle shape whereas the organs which are present in its body are consist of low amount of gravitational force. Feathers. We can see the body of the bird is covered by the epidermal feather whereas it is helpful for the reducing of frictional force. Organs of flight. The forelimbs of the birds are modified into the feathers whereas it is useful for the flight. Perching. It is an important mechanism which we can see in the birds. For suppose if a bird lands on a twing, definitely the fings, uh, fingers of the toe gets automatically curved to the twing. So it is a mechanism which is useful for the bird to balance its body. Tail. It is a small tail which is present at its back of the body. As it is in the form of feather of a fan, it is useful for the lifting of a body of the bird during the flight. Next anatomical adaptations. Here the anatomical adaptations deals with the organs which we can see in the birds. Flight muscles. The muscles which are present at the back of its body has been reduced. Whereas the muscles which are present lateral side of its body are highly developed and muscular. As we all know that the birds are called masters of air because they lead the aerial mode of life. So the bones of the birds are pneumatic which are filled with the air sacs in it. Next physiological adaptations. This physiologi uh, physiological adaptations deal with the function systems which we can see in the birds. The digestive system of birds are 
can see a rapid metabolic rate where it mostly depends upon fat for its food. Next, double respiration. Here we can see the respiratory system of uh, birds consists of nine air sacs which are complex in nature. Homeothermy. Homeo means same, whereas thermi means temperature. So birds have capability to maintain a constant temperature. It does not change according to the atmosphere. The temperature of the bird's body is of 40 to 46 degrees centigrade. Whereas when it comes to excretory system, as the function of gallbladder is to store the excretory material in it. Whereas when it comes to birds, the gallbladder is absent. So it does not store any kind of excretory material in its body. So it will eliminate by the rectum. Here the, in the brain, mainly the cerebrum and cerebellum are highly developed and the optic lobes which are helpful for the vision are well developed whereas the olfactory lobes which are helpful for the hearing are not developed properly. Homeostasis. Here the birds maintain constant equilibrium in its body. As the topic is that migration of birds and scientific reasons. Let us know why do the birds migrate, how they will migrate, which factors will affect the birds migration. Why they will migrate? The birds migrate due to the scarcity of food, climatic changes, natural selection, instant and gonadal changes. First let us learn about scarcity of food. As we all know that the scarcity of food occurs due to the shortage of food or as well as water. It may occur in any time of year. It is a not specific period. First suppose imagine that if a tree provides resources for 10 species. If more than 10 species depends upon the tree for resources, definitely there will be a chance of scarcity of food. So scarcity of food is also a reason for the birds migration. Next climatic changes. Warming of temperature. Due to the global warming, the temperature of atmosphere has been increasing day by day. Shifting of season. As we can see the variation season like summer, winter, rainy, autumn etc. And changing of precipitation. As we don't have a constant rainfall percentage, there will, there will be some fluctuations in the percentage of humidity. Rising of sea level. The water at last are draining into the seas, oceans etc. So by this, the sea level has been increasing day by day. Sudden rise in barometric pressure. Barometric pressure is a pressure which exerts in our atmosphere which depends upon the air of weight. Next, rapid natural selection. Darwin did a experiment on the finches of the birds which are present in the Galapagos Islands and he said that the beaks of the birds are modified according to the mode of the food consumption. So, if a bird habituate to a particular condition, so it will make some evolutionary changes in its body to habituate a particular condition. So, rapid natural selection is also a reason for the migration of birds. Next, instant and gonadal changes. As the maturation of sex organs occurs in the bird, it will make some uh, physical changes in its body and triggers the bird to reach a particular area for its breeding process. So, different different glands will perform different actions on the bird's body. For example, thyroid gland will release thyroxin whereas it controls the metabolic rate of the birds. Like that pineal gland which uh, is called as an internal clock of its body will control the circadial and circanial rhythms. Like that pituitary gland will release prolactin whereas adrenal gland will release crosses. Next let us know how did the birds find their way. First magnetic senses. The birds have some chemical compounds in its brain which will sense the earth's magnetic field, geographical mapping. Here the birds always choose a particular way to travel throughout the year. So it will remember some geographical features like rivers, mountains, valleys, etc. Stars orientation. The birds which migrate will use the stars, moon and as well as sun as their resources during their migration. To understand it clearly, some scientists did an experiment based upon this. Let us see them. Gustav Kramer did an experiment on a starling bird. He enclosed this starling bird into a cage and he kept some holes to it and allowed the sunrises to pass through it. When the sunrise are passed, the birds responded to it and it moved in different direction. Whereas he repeated the same thing by keeping some mirrors and reflecting the sun rays. So it did the same thing which has we can see in first case. So he said that the birds have capability to take the sunlight and to respond to it. And as well as the birds have capability 
to respond to the artificial light. Next, Fransars. Fransars did an experiment on the birds which migrate in the night time. He take a bird and he enclosed the bird in a planter. And he exposed the sunset rises to the bird. So the bird moved in a northern direction. So he said that the birds which migrate mostly in the night time, they will use the stars and as well as the sunset for its wayfinding for the migration. Next, Emblan's experiment. Emblan did an experiment on European robin, whereas he took the help of his colleague who studied about the electrical signals of the nerve cells. He enclosed this European uh, robin into a funnel and he poured some liquid material into it and he supplied some electromagnetic waves to the funnel. When he supplied the wa uh, waves to it, the, the bird moved in a different direction. So he find out the direction by the help of the footprints of the bird. So these are all the experiments which are done based upon the orientations were used by the birds during their migration. These are some kinds of migrations which are performed by the birds. Latitudinal migration. The birds will migrate from north to south or south to north like American golden plover whereas in winter the northern hemisphere is full of snow. So the American golden plover will migrate from north to south to escape the continental winter. Next come to longitudinal migration. Here the birds like Patagonia plover will migrate from east to west. Whereas when it comes to latitudinal migration, we can see some uh, changes due to the climate. Whereas when it comes to longitudinal migration, we can see that there will be a change in wind currents. Next altitudinal migration. This altitudinal migration can be performed by common woodcock. This altitudinal migration is also called as vertical migration because these birds will migrate in the higher altitudes in the summer whereas in the lower valleys in the winter. Next come to partial migration. The word partial itself indicates that the birds like blue jays and blue birds will migrate for a shorter distance. It have a constant residence in its native place. Next irregular migration. The birds like cuckoos will migrate after breeding their young ones in searching of food or as well as to escape from the enemies. So this kind of irregular migration is also called as wandering migration. Seasonal migration. The birds like geese will migrate due to the climatic changes. Next, diurnal migration. These birds will migrate in the daytime whereas they will take rest in the night time. So, diurnal migration is performed by vultures. Nocturnal. When we heard the word nocturnal, we will definitely get the word night to our brain. That is, some birds like fly catchers will migrate in the night time to escape from the night as, as well as to escape from the enemies. Let us see some of the factors which will affect the birds migration. Pollution, mainly air pollution where it creates a thin layer at at around this atmosphere and it is difficult for the birds during its migration. Global warming, as the rising of temperature which leads to global warming, it is difficult for the birds to adapt for the conditions. Human inventions, here due to the human intervention, the torches or the lighthouses which are created by the humans are disturbing the birds during the migration. Next come to photoperiodism. The photoperiodism it is a physiological reaction which occurs both in plants and as well as in animals. Due to this photoperiodism the birds will get some physical changes in its body. Next invasive of alien species. The sudden entry of an alien species into a group of birds will disturb the birds during the migration to navigate its way. Next diseases. The severe diseases like bird flu, SARS which means severe acute respiratory syndrome and avian pox. These are the diseases which may cause us to bird. So to escape such kind of diseases the birds will get migrate. Recently deadly coronavirus which attacks in China may came to know that the birds are the mediators for the spreading of diseases. Let us see some threats during the migration. When the mi birds migrate from one place to another place, it will face some problems. Let us know that. Light pollution in cities. As the lights which are present in industries and as well as companies, the birds are getting attracted to it. So sometimes they are forgotten the migratory way. Hunting and as well as poaching. Poaching it is a mechanism where it is illegal killing of an animal for getting its fur, ivory, etc. Collision with window building, power line, etc. The birds have, does not have capability 
to find out a transparent window. So suddenly it will get hits to it. Sudden change in climate may hurts. The sudden change in climates like hurricanes, storms, wind currents may hurt the birds during the migration. Inadequate food and lack of energy to travel. Sometimes the bird does not have a sufficient food and energy during the migration. So these are the problems which are faced by the birds during the migration. This is an article which I found recently in a Hindu paper where it describes about a great white pelican where it migrates from Europe to our country of Andhra Pradesh uh, of Krishna district. So by that I came to know that India is a place where most of the birds will migrate to our country. I prepared a list of birds. Let us see them. Siberian crane. Where the Siberian crane is migrated from Russia to Rajasthan of our state in the winter season for the breeding purpose. Blue throat. Blue throat is a bird which migrates from Europe to Rajasthan in the winter season to increase its population. Rosy starling. Rosy starling migrates from Europe to Telangana, Kerala, Ma Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, most of the states of our country in the winter season for the starvation of food due to scarcity of food. Greater Flamingo. It migrates from Europe and as well as Africa to Gujarat in the winter season for its breeding purpose. So these are the some of the birds which migrates to our country. This is a newspaper cut which I found recently in the newspaper where it describes about the population of the vultures. The population of the vulture has been decreasing day by day because as the vultures fly in the higher altitudes, they are getting damaged by the aircrafts and also the vultures are becoming endangered and endemic. Recently, a project was started on May 2018 and it has been completed on February 7, 2020. Here, it is based upon the conservation of migratory birds. The 13th COP Conference of Parties was held in Gujarat Gandhi Nagar. They did a uh, project on more than 10 millions of birds. They categorized the birds into three ways, high concern, moderate concern and low concern. Based upon this, they said that 101 birds are getting extinct, whereas 319 birds are endangered and 442 birds are in the safe zone. And mostly they focused on the migratory birds. The birds like glossy libels, rosy starling, Asian prinia, and feral pigeons. These are the birds which increase in its population during the migration. Whereas the bird like shorebirds, raptors, Indian vulture, large bibbled leaf arbel, and cruel sand peeper, Richard pipet, white rumped vultures. These are the birds which decrease in its population. So as by this uh, project we came to know that the population of the birds has been decreased. So it is our responsibility to take some preventive measures to increase the population of birds. Reduce the pollution. We should try to reduce the pollution. We should always follow the 4R principles which indicates reduce, reuse, recycle and recover. Avoid the usage of chemical pesticides otherwise the birds will affect. Next plantation. If you do plantation there will be a habitat for the birds. Protect the birds from your pets, otherwise it will consume it as a food. Clean your bird feeders, otherwise there will be a spreading of new diseases for the birds. Prevent the collision with your window and slow down your journey when you are, get, when you are driving. At last I will summarize the whole thing. What we learned till now? Migration of birds and some scientific reasons. We learned why the birds migrate. The birds migrate due to the scarcity of food, due to climatic changes, instant and gonadal changes and some behavior changes in its body. Whereas how the birds migrate? The birds took the help of earth's magnetic field and some physical features and geographical features which are present around it and as well as sun, stars and moon. The factors affect the migration. Here the factors will uh, like the pollution, the photoperiodism, the hunting, humor intervention as these are the factors which will affect the birds during their migration. For, to log in for the more information, you can log on to the websites which are provided here. Thank you and Jai Hind.